good morning students uh, welcome back once again to our mathematics class in the last few classes uh, we have discussed about the question that is uh, question number 6 7 from exercise i'm talking and apart from this we talked about uh, two theorems i hope all of you can remember the two theorems one theorem is uh, in an isosceles triangle angles opposite to equal sides are equal that is the first theorem and another theorem is converse of this theorem that is if two sides if two angles of a triangle are equal then the sides opposite to the angles are also equal these are the two theorems we got in our previous classes okay now based on this two theorem we are going to solve a few questions from exercise today we are going to discuss questions from exercise number 7.2 the very first question we are going to talk about at the beginning before going to that particular question i want to tell you if tell you people a few things that all of you are familiar with angle bisector all of you are familiar with angle bisector okay as we discussed in the theorem itself suppose this is the angle okay say angle a b c okay if this bd is the angle bisector of angle ABC then we all are familiar that angle ABD angle ABD is equal to angle CBD CBD okay so my main motive is to say one thing is to remind you people one thing that if angle bisector is there in angle the angle is divided into two equal parts now if i consider only half only the upper part of the triangle it will be considered as half of the complete angle because the angle is bisected by the this particular lines okay now this upper portion is will be treated as half of the complete angle similarly the half uh, below portion will be treated as half part of the complete angle that means as soon as the bisector angle bisector word comes we need to think about angle bisector we need to think about that the and we need to think about the concept of half if angle bisector concept comes into the question then we need to think out that half of angle a so this is angle b we need to think about half or twice half of angle b half of angle b means when it comes to bisector i can write how in place of half of angle b here it is angle B in place of half of angle B I can write the half portion that is upper portion is also half of B and the down portion is also half of B where whatever we need according to the demanding condition that only we are supposed to take that means here in place of half of B if I want to take half along with B why I am going to take that half with angle B because the concept of bisector is here if the concept of bisector is there we have we can utilize this concept by utilizing this one half or twice okay now let's move to the exercise question okay so here in the very first question just take out your book and try to observe the question what is that question i will just read, uh, read the question just try to listen the question it is given that in an isosceles triangle in an isosceles triangle abc with ab is equal to ac in an isosceles triangle abc with ab is equal to ac two sides are equal given just keep in mind okay the bisector of angle b and angle c bisector of angle b and angle c bisector also two things we have to note it carefully first thing is two sides are equal in this triangle apart from this angle bisector is there angle b bisector of angle b and bisector of angle c two points okay what we have to say these two bisectors meet each other at o okay join a to o so that ob is equal to oc a o bisect angle a. these are the two things we have to show First, let me draw the figure. Okay. First thing is the ABC is a triangle. A B C. 
is an isosceles triangle according to the question where the side AB is equal to the side AC. So here the side AB is equal to the side AC. Next, apart from this, bisector of angle B and C is given. Intersect O. Bisector of angle B is given. Bisector of angle C is also given, which meets at O. Here it is the intersecting point of bisector of angle A. Sorry, bisector of angle B and bisector of angle C. Both meets at O. Then after that, join A to O as far as the question is concerned. Join A to O. The very first thing we have to show that OB is equal to OC. Yeah. This OB side is equal to OC. First thing we have to show it. The given things, you just write it down by yourself. Whatever given things is there, try to write it by yourself. I will show you the procedure how to show OB is equal to OC. So let's see the procedure, sewing procedure, okay? What to show first thing? We need to show that. Number one, OB is equal to OC. We need to show this one, right? So while going to say OB is equal to OC, we all know that look at here this OB side and this OC side belongs to this particular triangle isn't it this OB side and OC side belongs to this particular triangle now we all know if two side has to be equal in a triangle then the opposite angles has to be equal right according to the theorem that means once we are able to show that this angle is equal to this angle then we can say that this OB side is equal to this OC side so our first motive is to show that angle OBC is equal to angle OCB. Once we are able to show that these two angles are equal, then we can easily say that OB is equal to OC here. So first motive is to show this one. How to show? Look, concentrate on the given things. It is given that AB side is equal to AC side, right? So start from that, okay? So I'm going to, about, I'm talking about the sewing procedure. How to sew? Let's see here, it is given that OB is equal to OC, given, we all know in, tri in a triangle, if, sorry, not OB is equal to OC, it's AB is equal to AC, AB is equal to AC, given, okay, if in a triangle two sides are equal, look at the thing, there it is, the two sides which belongs to triangle ABC, we all know if in a triangle two sides are equal, then their opposite angles are also equal, therefore we can write, the angle which is opposite to AB is angle C. AB, the angle which is opposite to AB is angle, this angle, the C angle. And the angle which is opposite to AC is B angle. Therefore, I can write angle B is equal to angle C. Angle B is equal to angle C. Reason is angles opposite to equal sides are equal. Angles opposite to equal sides are equal okay so this is what next just at the beginning i told you as soon as the word concept bisector comes we can take half since look at this b angle and c angle here it is the b angle here it is the c angle bisector line is there right ob is the bisector of angle b and oc is the bisector of angle c it is given only since the bisector words come i can take half on both sides as i told you in the earlier today in today's class so i will take half on both sides multiply equals on both sides so half is multiplied by angle b half is multiplied by angle c okay now the since these are the two bisectors so half of b can be written as half of angle b can be written as look at this angle this is the bisector half of b can be written as the upper part also the lower portion also i need i don't need the upper portion i need the lower portion only okay lower portion so i should write o b c so here in place of half of b i will write angle o b c is equal to angle in place of half of c i can write this o c b so it will be o c b why since o b and OC are bisector of bisectors of angle B and angle C respectively. This is the reason, okay? So that's why we can write like this. After that, we can easily write one thing. Now look at this. As I told you, once we are able to show that these two angles are equal, then we can use that property of triangle, the theorem in a triangle this is the triangle where this angle is equal to this angle where obc look at here obc is equal to obocb that's why i can write therefore their opposite sides will be equal 
for this particular angle this is the opposite side for this particular angle this is the opposite side so for obc the opposite side is oc for ocb the opposite side is ob therefore i can write ob is equal to oc okay reason is what sides opposite to equal angles are equal this is the reason so the first thing that we are supposed to prove is over now let's move to the second thing what to show in the second part we are supposed to show that what we have to show we are supposed to show that ao bisect angle e ao bisect angle that means they are talking about this one this ao line bisect angle a that means this angle has to be equal with this bisect means the whole a angle is divided into two equal parts that means bao is equal to cao that is what we are supposed to show to show angle b a O is equal to angle C A O. That means A O by sec angle A. That is what we are supposed to show. Now how to show these two angles are equal? Means look at here. These two angles are equal. How we can show? Hmm? How we can show? Here this angle belongs to the triangle. Two different triangles. Both the angle belongs to two different triangles. Okay. The earlier cases here. The ang two angles that we are supposed to show here in this case the two angles belongs to the same triangle. That's why we use the concept of angles opposite to equal sides or e angles equal to opposite to equal sides or sides equals to opposite angles. Now, if you observe these two angles properly, carefully, these two angles belongs to two different triangles. That's why this time we can use the concept of congruence here. Okay, that means I need to pick out the triangle. I need to pick the triangle this one alongside this one. That means I'm talking about triangle AOB and triangle AOC. So let's move to this one. In triangle, in triangle AOB and triangle AOC, both the triangle I can take consider. Now just write down the equal parts. Whatever you are having equal parts, note it down. Three data should be there. Let's look. So for both the triangle straight away AO is common okay AO is common so I can write AO is equal to AO common next one I can write this AB side is equal to this side if I'm not wrong this AB side is equal to the side AC which is given in the beginning itself it is given that I switch the triangle here a B is equal to A C given, right? Two datas I have got two sides. Next one more thing I can write it down that O B side is equal to O C side, which have been proved earlier in one case. First, so O B side is equal to O C side. Last thing I can write O B is equal to O C. That is already proved. Okay? Proved already. That is already proved. Okay. So next one is so now you just observe the things. All the three sides of triangle AOB is equal to the three sides of triangle AOC, right? That means side, 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 congruence rule. So as far as SSS is concerned, we can tell that the both the triangles are congruent. Therefore, I can write, therefore, triangle AOB is congruent with triangle AOC SSS. Okay? Once we are able to show that these two triangles are congruent, then we are very much familiar. Corresponding parts are equal. Very simple. That means this angle belongs to this AOB and that side angle, that is AOC angle, that angle belongs to triangle AOC. So directly we can write, therefore, we can write, therefore, after showing that both the triangles are congruent, straight away we can write, therefore, angle. B A O B A O is equal to angle C A O C P C P. So these two angles are equal means what? Equal means that is O A bisect angle A. That is what we are supposed to prove. Okay. So that is how we can prove these things. Okay. At the very beginning, we have used the theorem. We have used the theorem sides opposite to equal angles. Okay, I have taken taken this half 
since bisector is there, I told you as soon as bisector concept is there, is there you can use half of it. Okay, try to remember this. Next, apart from this, I have showed that both the triangles are congruent. Once we are able to show that these two triangles are congruent, I showed it that the corresponding parts are also equal by CPCT. That is what we are supposed to solve in this question. Thank you.